Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Morning rush hour traffic on Interstate 283 in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Current time is 7.22 a.m. on October 11th, 2023 here in the United States of America heading towards the destination for today's vlog. Welcome everyone, Zach the Incredible Impression here. Today's topic is something I've wanted to vlog for a long time. It's been about, I'd say, over 15 years maybe that I've been to this location. So we're heading on out to the destination. But first, let's get caffeinated, shall we? Oh, that's good. Kind of chilly out here this morning. It's been a while since I could see my breath in the air. We've arrived at our first stop of the day. We are at Arlington National Cemetery here in Arlington, Virginia, just across the bridge and the Potomac from Washington, D.C. And we are walking this way to the John F. Kennedy Eternal Flame and Gravesite. Then we're going to go over to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and watch the changing of the guard. Just so you guys know, this channel, I want to set the record straight, this channel is not a political platform by any means whatsoever. This, The purpose of this channel is simply for me to bring some enjoyment, make a lasting impression on something that I am experiencing or going through or enjoying in life and to bring you all, my viewers, with me to hopefully make a lasting impression on you guys. So please, please, I ask of you, do not leave any comments below being in any way political. Do not leave your political opinions. This is not a political platform. Just want to throw that out there. It's coming up on the 60th anniversary of President John F. Kennedy's assassination. So that is one of the number one reasons I wanted to come here today to pay my respects to in my opinion, certainly, was one of the greatest presidents in the history of this country. Sadly, cut down before his time. It's a long walk. That's the Arlington House, straight ahead. And as you can see, the flag is flying at half-mast because of the extreme sadness and tragedy that is happening in Israel right now. All the flags are at half-mast. We are entering the plaza to the grave of President John F. Kennedy. I have to be very quiet, maintain an atmosphere of silence and respect. 
Let's go pay our respects to the man, shall we? This is stone from Massachusetts Cape Cod, so it's a touch of his own state.
Okay guys, so I'm back in Jesse now, still in the parking garage at Arlington National Cemetery. Now, there are a few graves that I did not get to show you, which I really, really wanted to, but it's getting really hot outside. The cemetery is getting really full and the cemetery is just so big. So I'm just going to throw some photos out there of the ones that I wanted to show you guys but couldn't. For example, there's Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who passed away just a few years ago. She was a justice on the Supreme Court. Also, the very first African-American Supreme Court Chief Justice, Thurgood Marshall. There's also President William Howard Taft. And last but not least is a gentleman who was a soldier in World War II named Ira Hamilton Hayes. And I'm going to talk about him in a few minutes. So just remember his name, Ira Hamilton Hayes. Some of you history buffs may already know who he is, but I'm going to show you. The reason I bring Ira Hayes into the topic today is because he was one of the six Marines depicted here who raised the flag on Iwo Jima on February 25th, 1945. This was captured on camera, both by a still camera and a movie man. And the photograph by Rosenthal made it all the way through the wire service back to the United States and it was printed the following morning on the front page of every paper in America. And sculptor Felix de Weldon decided to immortalize that moment and pretty soon he got commissioned by the United States Marine Corps with a with permission from the government to create a full-scale memorial to the Marine Corps Ira Hayes is depicted in the very very back He's the one with his arms stretched completely out. Now three of the soldiers actually died in battle before the Battle of Iwo Jima ended. But Ira Hayes made it back 
to the United States and modeled for sculptor Felix de Weldon. It's incredible to see and think that these six Marines accomplished this. <coughs> what a piece of work. Joseph Rosenthal was the photographer who caught the moment. And I'm sorry, it was February 23rd. I'm sorry, not 25th. February 23rd. And Felix DeWeldon. Felix W. DeWeldon was the sculptor. It took him from 1945 to 1954 because he made several different sized models of the statue and then was commissioned to do the colossal size that you see here. Just think of those who sacrificed their lives for us. It's times like this that really make me proud to be an American.